Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to activate the cloud connector from your SAP system and then how to connect it to the SAP BTP. On the left side I'm on the Docker Hub, the description to activate the SAP cloud connector. On the right side we see our Docker desktop for Windows and we need to forward the port 844 three for the cloud connector and on the left side we try to open the cloud connector now we see the page isn't working so let's activate it for this we open a terminal window the windows powershell powershell and then we write here the command docker exec minus it a4h bash and then we can add the command here slash user slash local s bin r c s c c daemon start then we press enter we see the daemon is started now we can check the status with docker exec minus it a4h bash and again the path user local s bin rc scc daemon status and we see the daemon is started so now we can open the sap cloud connector here we press f5 okay bad request because we need here https so we add the S here, press again. Okay, then we click on advanced and proceed to local host. And now we see the login window of the cloud connector. Then we need the username and the password and we find this in the description. So we scroll down here. We see the user is administrator and the password is manage. So let's type in here the username and the password then we press the login button and now we have to change the default password so i paste here the current password and then i set a new one hmm. which password should i take okay and then we click on the button save okay now we see the cloud connector here and now we have to define an sub account but first we have to open uh, the link account.hanatrial.ondemand.com then we log in here with our username and password. Then we pick a location. I pick here US East. Then we click on create account. And the account creation takes some time. So I have speed up this a little bit see the global account name sub account organization and space development okay then we click on the button continue and we click on the button go to your trial account now we see in the PDP cockpit the new sub account and then I open another window on the left side on the uh, on the right side I mean on the left side is our BTP cockpit and on the right side is the cloud connector so I log in here again with administrator and my new password okay and now we have to define the first sub account so 
for this I click on the left side on the trial and here we have some information we need for the cloud connector so I click here on add sub account and then we pick the region in my case it was the US East VA so it's down there US East VA then we need a sub account and this is on the left side with the label sub account ID so we copy this string here on the left side and we paste this string here in the sub account field then we need a display name you can pick uh, you can pick a name every name you want in my case i copy the subdomain name then i type here the login email it's the same email which I've used to log into the PTP cockpit and with the same password. And then we click on save. Okay. So next on the left side we click on cloud connectors we see here connected then we click again on overview and on the right side on cloud to on premise then we click on plus Backend system is ABAP system, the protocol is HTTPS and then the internal host, here I type the IP address from my on-premise ABAP trial system. The internal port is 50001 for HTTPS. The virtual host, I type here S for HANA, port is the same. Then I uncheck this, click on next 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 and next then we check the internal host and we click on finish okay the check result is not reachable so we click on the details and we see here the problem is the certificate we have a certificate issue here okay so to solve this pro problem, we log in uh, with the SAP GUI in our SAP trial system. So I do this now. Here we are in our SAP system. And then I type here the transaction as trust double click on SSL server standard and then we see here the our own certificate dummy no domain self-signed we scroll down here to the certificate and we export this certificate we pick a file path click on ok yes allow then we have exported the certificate then we go back to the cloud connector we click on configuration then on on premise and here on the plus and then we upload here our certificate okay status is okay then we click on the sub trial and on the cloud to premise then we have to change the internal host from the IP address to the host and dummy.node domain. And now we see the check result is reachable. Then we click here on plus path, we type here the slash path and all subpath. 
and now we see the resources are accessible. So then we click here on destinations under connectivity and then we create a destination. So the name is A4H, the URL is my virtual host with the HTTPS port. Then proxy type is um, on premise. The authentication is basic authentication. And normally we use here and technical user for the connection. But to show you this, I use the developer, the normal developer dialog user password. And then we click on new property and here we pass the sub client. It's 001 for our SAP trial system. And then we can save and we check the data looks good. And then we click on the button check connection. And we see the connection to A4H is successful. Yes, at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.